Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Firefox version 137 has just arrived a short while ago today on the 1st of April 2025, and this is now the latest release. And there's quite a lot going on with Firefox 137. Now, to double check, we have this latest version. We head to our main menu, Help, About Firefox, latest version in build 137.0. Now, as always, we get a couple of security issues that have been fixed with this um, upgrade. And just to go through this, and um, because your browser is your first line of defense. Now, first of all, we get eight security vulnerabilities that have been patched. And out of the eight vulnerabilities, three are high impact, which is rated just below critical. And the good news is we do not have any zero days that have been exploited or any critical vulnerabilities. And the three high severities are listed as use after free and memory safety bugs fixed in Firefox version 137, where Mozilla says some of these bugs showed evidence of memory corruption. And we presume that with enough effort, some of these could have been exploited to run arbitrary code. So they've just patched them. So two memory safety bugs and one use after free make up the three high severity flaws and impact flaws that have been patched. Now, going through what's new in 137, and I think the first feature is going to make a lot of users happy using Firefox from what I see in the comments. And we now get tab groups that are rolling out in Firefox version 137. And tab groups, just take note though, are on a gradual rollout. Now, I actually haven't received the feature by default. I'm using an experimental flag I've enabled in about config. So if you don't see tab groups at the get-go after upgrading, remember it's on a control rollout, then I'll leave the video on how to enable tab groups in the stable version until it arrives in your region. I'll leave that video linked down below and in the end screen. Now, obviously, you can right-click Add Tab to New Group, Existing Group. You can edit the name, you can change the color, um, you can ungroup tabs, so you get the general idea. And something else is you can actually just drag a tab over an existing tab and that will automatically create a tab group which you can then rename and edit according to your own personal choice and preference. So tab groups are rolling out and Mozilla says you can stay productive and organize with less effort by grouping related tabs together with Mozilla saying that groups can be named, as mentioned, color-coded, and are always saved. You can close a group and reopen it later. So there we go. Tab groups available now in version 137. And as mentioned, if you're not seeing it, go check that video out. It'll show you how to enable tab groups if the feature hasn't rolled out yet in your part of the world. Now, the address bar has received a bucket full of improvements. And once again, the Firefox address bar refresh for 2025 is rolling out progressively. Now, I haven't received it yet in the stable version, but I'm going to pop over to the nightly version where most of these features are already available. And the nightly version is an early preview, but this will give you an idea as more or less what to expect if the feature has rolled out in your part of the world. Now, Mozilla says that the refresh gives you new ways to search for things new, previously viewed, and more, all from the address bar. So first of all, you get the new unified search button, which they say is an easy way to access, which Mozilla says is a easy to access button in the address bar, helping you switch between search engines and search modes. And then you also get search term persistence, which I'm just going to mention. And basically what this is all about is Search term persistence, a search term that's displayed by default instead of the search engine's URL. And Mozilla says that this improves refining searches. And then you've got secondary action buttons. And these buttons give you direct access to common Firefox features. So as an example, if I want my print page, I can just enter. There we go. And I can click on print page and that will take me directly to that in the settings and I actually think that is quite a nice touch. 
And then you've also got contextual search mode, which I'm just going to mention for the new refresh 2025 for the address bar. With Mozilla saying that Firefox detects if a web page supports search so that you may run searches directly using the pages search. And then over and above contextual search mode, we get contextual search engine options with Mozilla saying, use a contextual search mode option at least two times and Firefox will suggest adding the search engine to your browser so that it's always available to you. And I think if that's something you wouldn't use, that is actually quite a nice little touch. And then we get intuitive search keywords with Mozilla saying you can access various address bar search modes with convenient and descriptive keywords. So as an example, if you type in at, you can see at bookmarks, at tabs, at history. So let's go bookmarks. There we go. So you get the general idea. So all those features I mentioned are for the Firefox address bar refresh 2025 as Mozilla is calling it. Just remember though, that that is on a controlled rollout. That's why I'm showing you this in the nightly version. Then if we head back to the stable version, version 137, we get two improvements for PDFs, which once again are rolling out using a progressive rollout. With Mozilla saying, Firefox now identifies all links in PDFs and turns them into hyperlinks. And then the second PDF improvement, I'm just going to use an image because it hasn't rolled out. I haven't received it yet. You can now sign PDFs without leaving Firefox. And you can also save your signatures to reuse later, according to Mozilla. And I think if that's something you are using, that's definitely a nice move in the right direction. And then getting back to the address bar, Mozilla says, that you can now use Firefox address bar as a calculator. So I'm going to use the exact same example they give from the change log. So that's just put in this little equation. And there you go. It gives you your answer directly in the actual drop down from the address bar. And if you click on the results, you can see copy. It will copy it directly to your clipboard, which I also think is a nice touch. And that's it, guys. Quite a little bit going on, especially with the address bar. And I think the big one here is that tab groups now are starting to roll out uh, in the stable version. But just take note that is on a controlled rollout. And if you're not seeing it, go check that video out on how to enable it if that's something you'd like to do. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.